Baking with Kelly. We did Vlogmas this year, and I did a segment of Baking with Kelly. So I'm gonna continue it, continue doing Baking with Kelly this year. And one of the countries we did was England. And you know, I went completely crazy and bought everything from England that I could. Or Britain, not just England, Britain. And one of the items is black treacle. I've always wondered, black treacle? Oh wow, that's so cool. What is black treacle? Guys, <laughs> it's just black strap molasses. Same thing. It looks like a paint can. It's got such a cool design. It's got a lion on it. I mean, y'all, that's so cool. Ours is just a glass bottle with briar rabbit on it. So I'm going to make uh, Nigella Lawson's sticky toffee pudding. Okay, so it takes 17 ounces of pitted, dried uh, dates that I need to chop up. But while I'm chopping the dates, I'm going to put a kettle on and boil water. And then I take, I take three fourths cups of water and of the boiling water, put it in a bowl and soak my dates with some baking soda. So let's fill the kettle. And yes, I have the old fashioned kettle. And I know that Brits think we Americans are insane because we use the old-fashioned kettle and not just a second. Well, I'm back. <laughs> this is how often I use the other thing. But y'all, y'all, all you Brits think we're nuts because we like to use the old-fashioned kettles instead of the electric kettle which I do own. I do own an electric kettle, but I use it so often that I can't find it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna fill this up with some water. And then I'm going to stick this on the burr or the hob. <laughs> I'm gonna stick this on the hob and uh, turn the gas on and get it going. Get this puppy boiling. All right, so I'm gonna get these uh, dates all chopped up. And, um, I'll see you in just a second. <sighs> okay, well, there goes the kettle. Let's get that turned off. And I got my dates all chopped up. Well, I had a lot of good feedback from you guys when um, I did the baking with Kelly. So we thought, well, why not? Why not just keep that up? So through the year, we're going to do uh, some baking videos. Next week, we're going to do more Americans Try. So keep your eyes peeled for that one too. Oh, <laughs> you might see these really awesome uh, measuring cups. Somebody <laughs> watched my videos, <coughs> Karen, and she saw that, man, she really could use some uh, better, better measuring cups. And so one of my Christmas presents that I love is uh, these really neat uh, KitchenAid. Just like the, what I have here, KitchenAid uh, measuring cups, which is great because they fit perfectly when I'm trying to pour things in. I love them. Thank you, Karen. Great Christmas gift. So let's do three fourths of a cup of that boiling water. And I don't know, can you hear that out there? It sounds so pretty. I don't know what kind of bird it is. There's a bird just outside trilling really loudly. And I'm not sure if it's coming off on a camera or not, but it's really neat. Oh, I also got some cool uh, <laughs> uh, pot holders. All right, let's do three fourths of a cup. Hmm, I'm going to use the bigger one because I don't burn myself. Okay, three fourths of a cup. I'll use this three fourths. my dates. I could have just already had, I could have bought chopped dates, but I had these on hand because I love dates, so why go buy it if I already have it? I could just chop it. <laughs> That's easy enough. Teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, well, I don't know where my, tea my tablespoon or teaspoon is, so we're just going to use a spoon. Not quite sure what that's gonna do, but there we go. Set that aside. 
So now we're going to cream the butter and the molasses or black treacle since we're gonna use the British black treacle. So excited, this is so cute. There we go. <laughs> looks like motor oil, doesn't it? <laughs> looks just like, uh, looks just like molasses cause that's what it is. All right, so we need five tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of molasses. I got my softened butter. I use Kerrygold. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Two tablespoons of uh, black treacle. It's as slow as molasses. <laughs> Oh, I had read somewhere where if you had, uh, if I had stuck this in a uh, hot boiling water first, then tried to put it into my uh, mixing bowl, it would have come off my uh, spoon easier. Actually, I think I prefer it in this can like this because it's easier to get out. Please excuse me as I geek out over black treacle from Britain when we have the exact same thing here in the States, just called a different name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do realize I'm a dork, but hey, I'm a lovable dork. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get that mixed up. So I cream that together until it's well mixed, and then I add the dark, uh, dark brown. I can't think of what it's called. It's called mus mus muscavo. It's just brown sugar. <laughs> anyway, I now add a a fourth of a cup of firmly packed dark brown sugar. I'm gonna give this a little whirl again. Okay, there we go. So let's add, let's add our, add, a, add some butter stuck to the prong of the mixer. So now I'm going to add the dark brown brown sugar and mix that up. Mmm, <laughs> butter and sugar. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> okay, so now I am to add two large eggs. I add one egg at a time. Um, I beat the first one and then I gently add the second one. <laughs> and, uh, of course, mine's going to be gluten-free, so it's sort of Nigella's sticky toffee pudding. And you know, when I hear pudding, I think, this is what I think of. <laughs> when I hear pudding, I think of this. <laughs> this is pudding. <laughs> Not just a sticky toffee dessert. And I'm going to use some of uh, the leftover bird's custard. I'm gonna make that up and have that on the side. So that'll be fun too. I won't actually put pudding, <laughs> but I might be putting pudding. What is it? What is custard? Is custard pudding? Is pudding custard? Is it different? I always thought custard was kind of an eggy, warm, gooey bleh, thing. <laughs> I described that so well, right? And pudding was this nice, smooth, milky deliciousness. Have I offended every Brit anywhere? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go. I'm gonna add my egg. This one I beat. Okay, let's add the other egg. A cup and a fourth of my gluten-free flour mixture. What's cool about Nigella's site is that there's a toggle, you click it, and you can get it in uh, metric or you can get it in cups. It's very cool. A cup and a fourth of flour. Oh, I love how nice and easily that goes in. Okay, let's add the baking powder. Two teaspoons. Okay, that's nice and mixed. Now, using a fork, I am supposed to stir the dates and squish them. And then I pour the dates and their liquid into my mixture. So let me get a fork now. Pour this in. Okay. 
Mmm, that smells so good. <laughs> Yum. I think it's the butter and the sugar I'm smelling. <laughs> okay, so now I put this inside a nine inch square baking dish. I have my buttered baking dish. Let's go ahead and put this in. Let's put the batter in. I just got all kinds of cool things for Christmas. <laughs> all right. So I put this in a 350 degree oven for 35-ish minutes when uh, Nigella has a cake tester. I have a butter knife, so when a butter knife comes out uh, clean, it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this in the oven and then we'll make the sauce that goes with it and then the custard. Okay, let's make the sauce. It takes 10 tablespoons of soft and salted butter, one and a half cups of dark brown sugar, tablespoon of black molasses, and uh, heavy cream. I may screw it up, but I don't have heavy cream. We're gonna try it with milk. Okay, so it calls for 10 tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm melting my butter now. And then I add one and a half cups of muscovado or dark brown sugar. Lovely melted butter. Mm. <laughs> one and a half cups of dark brown sugar. Good gracious, that's a lot of sugar. One and a half cups of dark brown sugar. <laughs> Funk. <laughs> I didn't read it right. It's not melted butter. I'm supposed to melt all of these in a saucepan. So I'm gonna melt these in a saucepan. Okay, so now that I'm following instructions, I'm going to put this into my pan and melt it. I need a tablespoon of the treacle. So that's what I have right now. It's kind of starting to melt. It smells like Christmas. It smells amazing. Um, once that's all melted and bubbly, then I add the cream, but I don't have cream. I'm going to try with milk and see what happens. That's what we have now. It's getting there. It's close. Okay, so let's add the milk. Should be cream. Don't do it my way. Do it the correct way. Nigella's recipe, her the link to this recipe will be down below. <laughs> you can go find it and, and fix this correctly. Okay, three-fourths of a cup. And I'm to turn up the heat. The heat is on. The heat is on. The heat is on. Okay, so now I'm done with the black treacle. Let's pop the lid back on. and I'm going to clean up my mess. This will be done in about six-ish minutes and um, I'll make the custard as well. well. Timer just went off. Let's see if our cake is done. Our oh, wow. That is pretty. You wanna smell it? <laughs> it smells good, doesn't it? Mm. Straight out of the oven, it's nice and warm. It is, uh, <laughs> it is a dreary day. Oh, uh, yesterday we were supposed to have an ice storm. It never, well, 
praise God it, it didn't freeze. It stayed 36 degrees, sometimes down to 34, but never down to freezing. So we just got a nice pouring rain all day long, but it is still gray out. And this is what it looks like today. Okay, so now that you're back, I'm supposed to take and prank this cake with uh, a cocktail stick. I guess that's what y'all call a, um, a toothpick. I have a fork. I'm gonna prank this with a fork. Let's add the sticky toffee bit. for 20 to 30 minutes and you serve it warm. I'm gonna go ahead and make the bird's custard while this cools off. So here we go. I have the leftover bird's custard from when I had to use it in uh, the Dutch apple pie from Vlogmas. So I'm gonna make this and it's instant, so it's actually pretty simple. I just empty this into a bowl, add boiling water, whisk, and then allow to cool. <laughs> Anybody could do that, I hope. So <laughs> I'm gonna try that now. What is three fourths of a pint? Fourths of a pint and is that is equal to how many cups? It just came right on up. Um, it's one and a half cups of boiling water, so I need to put the kettle on again. I'm thinking instant custard is instant pudding. <laughs> It's very similar. <laughs> there we go, there goes our kettle. Here we go, and then I let that sit for at least a minute. <laughs> Thank you, Britton. Oh, well, there we are. Is that what it's supposed to look like? It, it smells really good. Let's try this. <laughs> well, that's good. Nigella sticky toffee pudding. Very good. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.